This is your heads up to this Mad World 5 Minute Quickie. And we're going to use the power of procrastination. We're going to use it as a power for good. It's a superhero power. Really? Yeah, really. Have a listen to Cluffy. He's going to guide you into finding your dreams, creating some really good stuff with the power of procrastination. Bonky, but it'd be good. See you after this. Warning. 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 You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal Development Unplugged. Hey, we're back. I'm back. You're back. Hope you're... Well, I hope you've enjoyed that little trilogy of mine about my loves and the things that well get get my boat floated, make me fly a little bit. Hope you've started, maybe they started you thinking of the things that you love. Get to rethink about them so you appreciate them more. Maybe that gets you inspired a little bit to dive a bit deeper. And the other thing I was thinking about was that we're now getting to this time in these mad world of lockdowns that we've probably done a lot of our work and we're going to start to follow that, that advice of using this time wisely. Now, that's just, the, well, the advice of that, this is the time of opportunity, is great. How you do that, how you use this time, doesn't always come through. But anyway, I'm going to help you with that. But first of all, this is what I was thinking about. One of the things that happens when we decide to do something is we don't start. And why don't we start? Because we have this thing that some people like to have as a little flag says, I self-sabotage myself. And how do I do that? I procrastinate. And yes, I do have processes. If procrastination and self-sabotage, if you believe that, is of a real real debilitating thing and we can do that if that's the case but generally what do we do i mean would it be interesting would it be of value to you just to knock that on the head really quickly i guess it would because this is what i'm going to do because i thought to myself well what what normally happens when we procrastinate in the normal run of the mill type day of our life well i know i have to get my room ready have to get all the papers out of the way, that, and I'll do that before I start. And that tends to put me off. I have to get those papers, I have to get that right book. You know, that journal, that right journal, the right coloured pens. Yeah, I've got to think about what music I'm going to play as well. So I've got to get everything tidied up, then I've got to get the pens and the book. And then maybe you know where that coffee is. Maybe some music. Yeah, I wonder what music I'll play. Because that's got to be right too, isn't it? And then, maybe then, having procrastinated, then I don't do the work, do I? That's, that's in the past, though. That's in the past. I was thinking, these are the things that would normally stop me doing things. But now I'm going to take, take this opportunity, I'm going to grasp it, I'm going to use it. So what am I going to do first, as the very first job I'm thinking about? What do you think it is? That's right. Do every bloody thing that, that would put me off. So, without even thinking about what things I'm going to do, I'm going to start clearing that table. I'm going to prepare a place that I can do this deep diving or creativity or whatever the, the thing that you're going to do. I'm going to create that like a sacred space. <laughs> but no, create a space that will be productive for me. And I'm going to have all the things I need so I'm going to make sure that the space is clean. Let's go and clean the bloody desk if we need to. Or that workspace. Let's get it spick and span. Now let's just spend one day clearing out this space. Getting all the paperwork you need. Getting the right journals. If we're going to do writing and we're going to do thinking. Making sure you've got maybe a playlist. on. I use Spotify. And I get some lovely playlists on there for concentration. I love some acoustic. There's a lovely... A uh, couple of acoustic uh, guitar music I listen to for focusing and, and things like that. And that just gets me in the mood. 
I'll also listen to that Coyote Oldman stuff because that takes me back into my hypnosis days, puts me into a state. So I'm going to do that. Having got all my paperwork, I'm also going to get some little sticky notes because you remember when we have to set our intention and we have to set our state. So I'm going to have a couple of sticky notes which says, hey, Cluffy, what's your intention? For this next hour, maybe. What's your intention? And what would be the the best state to be in? Is it curiosity? Is it focus? Is it awareness? Whatever it is, creativity. Who knows? And I'm going to go through some of these in in more detail in uh, deeper podcasts. But two little sticky notes. What's your intention, Cluffy? And what was the best state? Because if I know when I've got all my clutter away, got myself prepared... The music is on. My cup of coffee is there. I've actually filled up uh, a cup that's going to reheat or whatever it is. I'm all ready. Got my water. I then can start because then, but before I start even that, having got all my space, I'm just going to think just for a moment. I said we're not going to do anything, but we're going to think a little bit about scheduling because it's no good you being prepared. And there's if there's people in your house that, they're going to interrupt you because not because they want to interrupt you, but they don't know that they they shouldn't interrupt you. So how are you going to set your scene by telling people, I'm just going to be away for an hour. If I just be undisturbed for an hour, my phone is going to go on to not that private, is it private, undisturbed mode. So if they really, really, really need to get to you, they're on your little favorite contacts, they'll come through. Everything else will be away for an hour. People can wait an hour. So you set your time. You've set the whole blooming scene. And now there is no excuse. The only excuse is the ones that you're going to make up now. And what you have to do then is, you know, if you set your intention, what you want, and you know it's a value to you, you can start to plan what you're going to do in that short period of time, maybe an hour. Remember, it's going to be baby steps. So maybe you just think when you set your intention and your state, you just think of the big picture, the big picture where you're heading to. So you can get that feeling of the wish fulfilled. That's another state to add to it. If you want to know how to do those, those particular things, I have got either hypnosis or an NLP process uh, on my hypnosis part of my website. So to go there, paulcloughonline.com forward slash podcast, sign up and you can find them all there. You can hook back to the previous podcast. They're not that long. All the information is here for you to start working. And that's what I'm going to be helping you with in the next podcast to come. We can start working on and revisiting and revising and re-remembering all this stuff that's really going to make you fly. So you do start using this time wisely. And in a few weeks... Instead of looking back and saying, I wish I, I wish I had her, you'll be going, I'm so pleased I did her. (laughs) Did her. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Oh dear, it's, maybe the lockdown has got me. (laughs) But you'll be so pleased that you've moved forward. You're achieving things. And that will only set up a new way of being, a new strategy for you to continue. Because, you know it works, and your unconscious mind is going to say, I'm so pleased with what the results we're getting. Your conscious mind is going to go, oh, I'm so pleased with the results we're getting. That you're going to set off that reticulated activ- activating system, the RAS, that's going to get you to focus on the things that you really want. Focus on noticing those opportunities that match your goals, your dreams, that wish fulfilled. It's all there for you. But first of all, we just have to kick procrastination up the bum, kick it out of the room. So how do we do it? We, just as a recap, we do all the things that in the past we have done to procrastinate. Let's go and have a day of procrastination. That's what it is. Procrastination day. Do all those things so you, and use it wisely then. That's another use of your time. It's using your time wisely to prepare. Because once you're prepared, boom, we're off. Off at the races. We can then start to really produce um, some wonderful, wonderful things in our life and for other people. Anyway, that's it. 
Pretty simple, really. Oh, no, not in simplicity. There's genius, Cluffy. Yeah, it's a simple thing, but we're actually using, if you think about it, we're actually using our own strategy on ourselves to prepare ourselves because, you know, that's what we're here for. So let's use that strategy, our strategy that used to work to procrastinate. We're going to use it now with a positive intention to get you prepared to follow your dreams, to learn something new, to create something marvelous inside you, to get those synaptic gaps firing, get those neural pathways creating wonderful chemicals in your body that get you so curious, so so energized, so everything, so you can start imagineering and doing then the work. Oh, it's exciting. It is so exciting. I look forward to hearing from you. I want to know what you did to procrastinate, how you tied it up and got ready, and what things did you start to think about because this is this will start your imagineering already you'll start thinking about the things you're going to start to want to do because you know it's coming i'd love to know what your your little targets are your goals your dreams the things you're going to work on because that will inspire me and i can share it with others so that we can inspire them too enjoy every heartbeat i'll see you very soon bye now before you go my friend I'd like to ask you a question. Did you learn something from this, this episode? I hope you did, because even though every episode may not be the one that really floats your boat, sets you, you know, alight, hopefully there's a takeaway in each and every episode for you. And I'd love to know what it was. So please do email me at feedback at personaldevelopmentunplugged.com. It's a personal email to me. I'd love to know so we can carry on doing this work that will allow you to exceed your dreams. And what's the payment for this? Payment, Cluffy? What are you talking about payment? I thought it was free. Well, it's like, pay it forward. And if you could pay this forward in two ways, or maybe three. First way is, please share it. Share this podcast with as many people as you could. And you can very easy just press that share button send it off by email to them you'd love to this is something you might like mighty mighty i'll get that right paul something you might enjoy and hey if you could a real big pay it forward to me is wherever you're getting this podcast is it itunes Castbox, or stitcher or whichever you're getting it from google play i don't know would you please just leave a review because the review really helps people find this, this podcast. There's thousands out there, and we want to, or I want to direct people to this podcast. And the way to do it is by reviews. So if you could do that, if you could share, you could do that. And also just make sure that you're subscribed so you get this episode and every other episode on a Wednesday and a Saturday. If you could do all of that, my little heart will sing. And if you want me to sing, well, you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Enjoy. But please do, do all of that. Make my heart sing. Bye bye now. Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.